Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is Mirgloff Builds, and in this video I am going to be building a monument to uh, one of my descri uh, subscribers, uh, not subscriber, um, yeah, subscriber, and that subscriber is Meatly, he's uh, one of the first subscribers I've had, and uh, I plan on doing uh, monuments for every subscriber, but uh, I chose Meatly first, uh, not only just because uh, he was the first one of my first subscribers, uh, also I just the idea popped into my head to make a monument of meat. I wish there was meat blocks. I wish you could take some sort of meat and put them into nine parts in a crafting bench to make a uh, a meat block, but you can't. So I'm going to be making out of mostly stone, some stone bricks, cobblestone, maybe throw on some wood in there. And then there's going to be a chest with some uh, couple bits of uh, meat in there. I don't have any pork, and I don't really want to go tracking down any pigs. And they don't, they often don't any, drop any pork anyways. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to make a monument of meat to Meatly, a subscriber. Let's see how I want to do this. I want to do it by fives. There we go. Uh, anyways, this will be a time-lapse video, but uh, thank you, Meatly. And uh, for the other subscribers, I will be doing more monuments to you a lot sooner. But, uh, yeah, into the time-lapse. Okay, the uh, shrine to the to Meatly, the patron saint of meat, is complete. The monument, I should say. That's what the word I was looking for. Me 
Saint Meatly, patron saint of meat. And I'm going to put these meat tributes in there. There we go. And you take a look around. There's uh, It's a fairly abstract structure. But uh, I think it's good. And uh, not every monument I make for subscribers is going to be like patron saints or anything like that. Uh, that's just what I decided to do for Meatly, but I do kind of, I don't know how to explain it other than uh, if you're familiar with Skyrim or uh, any of the Elder Scroll games, uh, the Daedric Shrines and the uh, Shrines of the Nine Divine. Uh, that's kind of how they're just out in the wild, and they've uh, sort of got the shrine feel. That's how I want to build monuments. But that's not to say how I'm going to build every monument to every subscriber. Uh, I'm going to do it different. I do want to make it special and uh, for each subscriber, and this is special, I think. Um, yeah. So there isn't really much more to say about that, and that's one of the pretty much the last thing I wanted to do uh, for uh, the town of Mirgloff before I move on and start a uh, new town. This is going to be my next thing, but uh, the very, very next thing and the very, very last thing I'm going to do is uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it in this video. I was planning on making it separate, but it's not really. A building. I'm not really building a building. It's basically going to be a dirt skywalk. And it's not permanent. It's just so that uh, I'm going to do some uh, filming for uh, my. Uh, when I start building the next town, I'm going to be changing up the intro to uh, this series, Mirgloff Builds, instead of that uh, sign I built in creative mode that says Mirgloff Builds. I uh, plan on doing a little bit of what I did. Uh, for the uh, what was it the hardcore mode the hardcore mode series in which I sort of did like a pan around at a natural environment, but instead I'm gonna build a uh, dirt skywalk and sort of uh, mute, uh, mute my microphone and just sort of slowly uh, pan around uh, the town so you get a good look of the town that I've built here from a view above. Uh, and at, at angles so that you can't see the dirt skywalk. So, sort of make it look like I'm flying, but I'm not. And I'm going to do that off camera, not a uh, time lapse. So, that's the very next thing you'll see. Alrighty. Um, what I did instead of making a dirt scaffold around the town and walking and recording that, uh, I basically made a dirt pillar and uh, sort of panned around like I said I did in my uh, hardcore mode uh, s series and uh, I did uh, I filmed different from different spots I built a pillar in the middle I built the pillar at the end and uh, made several uh, recordings of just me basically slowly spinning and it, the point was to uh, get a view of everything I've built and uh, the reason why I didn't want to do the scaffolding is the scaffolding would mostly uh, get the uh, everything at the center of the town and uh, it would take longer but uh, the intro is going to be a little bit longer than I normally have it I don't think not too long though maybe five six seconds I don't want it to be like ten seconds because then people don't want to new people won't want to watch it but I don't know that's my fear and uh, I just don't like delaying uh, getting into the video. Long intros are unnecessary, but anyways, I'm getting off on a tangent. Uh, I wanted to do the spin around because it lets me see a little bit of the quarry. You can't really tell from here, but when I was up on that dirt pillar, uh, you can see from here the monument of meat. You can see basically everything that I've built. And uh, in fact, uh, this is the second time I've making this sort of a spiel here about what I did uh, the first time I, uh, I forgot to unmute my mic but uh, whatever and uh, if you enjoyed this video go ahead and oof, 
if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And uh, the next video will be me uh, looking for a new area to build. Thank you for watching.